Good morning, YouTube. This is the OnePlus One, my favorite Android phone that I've used so far. I really, really like this phone. I've been using it since about July of last year. OnePlus didn't have an official Lollipop ROM until last weekend when they dropped their first uh, 1.0 release of Oxygen OS, which is a fairly stock Android Lollipop ROM. It's not available as an over the, over the air though. You have to actually download it and manually install it. It's not a big deal. This video I'm gonna is kind of like an intro video for uh, if you're new to flashing ROMs, if you've never done it before, or you haven't done it for a long time, I'll walk you through step by step exactly what you need to do. It's fairly straightforward with a couple of gotchas, but all you're doing is downloading and installing three pieces of software. So let's get started. As it sits, my OnePlus One currently has CyanogenMod uh, 11, which is based on Android 4.4.4. Uh, Let's go into About Phone here. Yeah, CM11, Android 4.4.4. This has a build date of Wednesday, January 28th. Okay, let's put Lollipop on this phone. We're gonna download three things today. The first thing is ADB. ADB is part of the Android Software Development Kit, and it's a tool that lets us uh, send commands via the command prompt from the laptop to the OnePlus One via USB. The second thing we're going to download is TWRP. This is a custom recovery tool that we're going to install on the OnePlus One to replace the stock Cyanogen Mod recovery. The third thing we're going to download is Oxygen OS. We're also going to download this to the computer, push it over using ADB to the phone, and then we'll just use our custom recovery to press the install button and install it on the phone. Some additional points. After we install ADB, we have to manually install the right driver so that we can use ADB to talk to the OnePlus One. Secondly, after we install TWRP on the device, we cannot boot back into CyanogenMod as CyanogenMod will overwrite it back with its own recovery. So we have to manually immediately go into the recovery after we flash it. Uh, also, once we download the Oxygen OS zip file from the OnePlus website, we have to actually extract the flashable zip file that's in it. And that's the one we actually install on the phone. Also make sure your phone uh, battery is fully charged. Okay, let's start with uh, getting ADB. So we can get that from developer.android.com. Uh, I will have the links to all the different URLs in the description below. So if we go right to the bottom here, there for Windows, there's the installer. So let's go ahead and start uh, downloading the installer. Yes, I have read every single word. Download installer. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let that download. All the instructions and um, the files you need can be found from oneplus.net slash oxygen OS. The first post on their installation guide contains step-by-step uh, -step the instructions that we're gonna follow today. You just have to click on the spoiler button and that will open the instructions here. So there's detailed instructions here. There's also the, the links to find all the files that we need today. Our installer has almost finished downloading. There. It's downloaded, so now we can uh, click the installer and go through the install. So I'm gonna pretty quickly just press next and do a fairly uh, standard install. Next, install just for me. Okay, this part is very important. You wanna make sure you know exactly where this destination folder is because we'll be going right into that destination folder into the Android SDK uh, folder right subfolder you see right there so make sure you know where you're installing it you can install it right in the c drive if you if you prefer that would make it easier so i'll press next android sdk tools install okay so we'll let this uh, install so the android sdk manager has finished installing but we are not done yet there's two more packages that we want to also install. 
One of them is the second item here, Android SDK platform tools. So you want to keep that checked. As you can see, it's not installed now. And the other item is right at the bottom here. Under uh, extras, you can see here right at the bottom, Google USB driver. So make sure both those are also installed. Now let's uh, download TWRP for the OnePlus One. So this is the newest version uh, is up top here, TWRP 2.8.6.0. So it's only 9.9 .9 megs, fairly uh, small download. So let's go ahead and grab that as well. And finally, from the OnePlus forums, we can download Oxygen OS. This is a big download, 705 megs. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, grab that. I'm gonna rename the TWRP file that we downloaded just to simply TWRP, so we can remove the extra stuff. Our ROM has downloaded now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy both the files we downloaded, the TWRP file, as well as the Oxygen OS zip file, into the platform tool subfolder, uh, which is in the Android SDK folder. So there, we have both our files exactly where we want them. We can open up a command prompt now and go into that Android SDK folder and then go right into the platform tools folder where our files are. Now at this point, if you type in ADB version, you should actually get a version and then you know so far everything's working correctly. We need to enable USB debugging on the phone so that we can connect to it. So you have to turn on developer options. So that's done by uh, going to About Phone and clicking on the build number seven times. That will then turn on the Developer Options menu. So you just go into Developer Options then and check USB debugging there. Android debugging. So we need that box checked so that ADB can talk to the phone. So let's check it. Okay. Now we can actually connect the phone to the laptop using the awesome USB cable that came with the OnePlus One. Now let's uh, go back into the command prompt and type ADB devices to see if uh, a connection has been established. As you can see, under list of devices attached, we don't see the device. So uh, that means that, um, ADB is not able to communicate with the phone right now. Uh, this, is, uh, this is one of the main gotchas in this process is that means uh, we don't have the right driver installed. So uh, now we're gonna fix that. Open the control panel and go into the device manager right there. Now we should see our device. Here it is under network adapters. That's the OnePlus One, A0001. So I'm gonna right click and select update driver software. Now we can actually point to the driver ourselves. So let's choose browse my computer for driver software. And then we can choose uh, the second choice again. Let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Okay, so now we want to select the Android device. Press next. And now we want to choose Android Composite ADB interface. Right here, it's our second choice. So let's select that, press next. Okay, update driver warning. Installing this device driver is not recommended, that's fine. We can go ahead and press yes. OK, 
Okay, so Windows has successfully updated your driver software. We now see a new uh, dialog has popped up on the phone. Allow USB debugging. Okay. So now we should be connected. Let's try our ADB devices command again. Enter. And now under list of devices attached, we can actually see our device. Excellent. That is probably the hardest part of this whole process. Getting ADB set up and communicating with the device. Now we can actually start issuing commands. So the first thing we're going to do is reboot right into the bootloader. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter now. And the phone reboots and now we can see uh, there's a fast boot mode icon on the phone. Okay, so now if we type fast boot devices there fast boot is set up everything's working correctly we can see our same device number there so now we can actually unlock the bootloader so unlocking the bootloader is going to factory uh, is going to wipe all the data on the phone so everything's going to all your data is gone at this point Simple command, fastboot OEM unlock, enter. Okay, so our bootloader is unlocked now and the phone is uh, restarting. So we're just going to let it restart and go right back into the bootloader. Okay, one more thing we need to do is we need to unzip the, the ROM file that we downloaded. So let's extract. Okay. So um, now we're going to actually end up, when this is unzipped, we're going to see the actual flashable zip file. And this is the actual file that we'll be sending to the phone and installing. So that's done. There's our extracted zip file, which is called oxygen100 flashable.zip. That's the actual file we are going to push to the phone and flash. Okay, now we're going to actually flash the custom recovery. So we use the command fastboot flash recovery and then the name of the file that we're going to flash. So in this case, it's twrp.img. Okay, so it has written the recovery and the phone is rebooting now. I'm going to keep holding down the volume down button and power so that it reboots back into uh, the custom recovery. And here we are. See the big install button on the top left? That's the button we're going to press to actually flash the ROM. But first, we're going to wipe data. So we just choose swipe to wipe. Format data will wipe all of your apps. Press yes and go. Okay, data format complete. Now we are ready to actually push over the Oxygen ROM. So you can see I have the file here in the platform tool subfolder oxygen 100 flashable.zip that's the file right there 700 plus megs so now we're going to use uh, another adb command to send the file from the laptop to the phone so it's a simple com command adb push and then the file name followed by the destination on the device Okay, so I'm going to send the file over. That'll take a couple of minutes. And then I just press uh, the big install button on my TWRP recovery screen. Okay, the flashable zip has been copied over. So let's press install. There we see it, oxygen100 flashable.zip. So let's select that. 
This operation may install incompatible software and render your device unusable. Folder, that's the zip file. Okay, swipe to confirm flash. So let's start the install. Okay, so now it started flashing Oxygen OS. So we will let it sit and uh, come back to it when it's done. Okay, zip install complete. That didn't take too long, couple of minutes. Successful. So now we can go ahead and reboot into Lollipop. Your device does not appear to be rooted. Install Super SU now. You can if you want, if you want to root. It's very easy to do it right here. I'll skip it for now, so I'll just press the do not install button. Okay, there we go. This is now uh, Oxygen OS, Android Lollipop, booting up for the first time. So we should see our new Oxygen OS boot animation. There it is. No more Cyanogen mod on this phone for now. This is OnePlus's own pretty stock Android Lollipop ROM called Oxygen OS. So I'll let it boot up for the first time. Okay, we have almost finished the upgrade. Android is upgrading. It's installing the, lap, the last app. Upgrading contacts database, finishing boot. Here we are. Okay, so let me go ahead and set up my phone. Okay, phone is set up. Here is Android Lollipop on the OnePlus One. That process wasn't too bad. Hopefully uh, this video helps you uh, upgrade your uh, OnePlus One to Oxygen OS. Let's go into the About Phone, Oxygen OS 1.00, Android 5.02, and the build date is Friday, April 3rd. Awesome. A nice benefit you have now is your phone is set up to easily install other ROMs in the future. When Cyanogen Mod 12 comes out or any other custom ROM wants to that you want to try out on your phone, all you have to do is copy it to the phone, reboot into recovery, and flash it. Very, very simple from here on. Okay, thank you for watching.